So, I was asked after my most recent video about putting my 411G on the console if I had done a video on the changes to the machine to make it happen. And the reality is no, but it's very quick and very easy, so I thought I'd explain it and what tools use. So, just a mini grinder. You need the metal cutting disc and the small sandpaper grinder. With those two, you have to make a cut here, which is not for the faint of heart, only because you're making a change in the machine. However, that just do it up to the screw hole there. So if you happen to have the plastic cover for the treadle band, which I've never had, it didn't exist with my machine, you won't be able to attach it again without doing a little bit of surgery there to reattach it. However, I don't have it. I've never even seen one um, available. I have seen a couple in photographs, but that's it. So for me, it makes no difference, and no one would really ever know. I mean, I, I could have gone a little higher to remove the last vestiges of that screw hole, but I opted just not. It doesn't really matter to me. So you just cut across. So what happens is once you take the wheel off, you might be able to see in there, that's just completely exposed. So you just hold the metal cutting disc horizontal, go zip, chop it across. Inside, there is a bit more um, work to do. So what you'll see from the original um, design was there's this annoying cover here, which I suppose they put in because there was never any need for a treadle belt for most of these machines. However, it was always a pain trying to feed a treadle belt under it, so what I finally decided after doing a bit of analysis is just to get the metal disc and chop it off. So you just hold the disc horizontal and then you'd have to do some smoothing. So the one part that caused me a bit of problem was just this sharp edge here because it would catch as the band went around. So I'll just wheel this up here so you can see. So when that came up it would sometimes catch on there so I just had to uh, smooth off the edges and you should do that because you don't want to be cutting your fingers if you're ever in there. But basically that's it. You just cut that hole so it's space and then down in here you may find even after you make the cut you need to grind just a little bit to to make that hole more clear so if you look you can see some of my previous attempts so the original attempt I made was to not cut anything visible on the front of the machine however I found I just couldn't achieve a, a big enough gap in there to allow that clip through so eventually I just said well we'll just have to do it in reality, it looked perfectly fine. You'd never know unless you knew this machine inside out. But what it means now is that I, I can treadle it easy. I can put it on the servo motor. You can see the motor is still in situ and it doesn't impact anything. I have removed the, for this custom balance wheel, I don't have the gear there so that doesn't spin all the time with the wheel. Um, but I still have the, the other... Uh, wheel that I use when I do want to use the motor. Although now this is so easy to take on and off because this just literally once it's in front of the machine you just squeeze these together, pull it apart. I can't do it with one hand but you pull it apart and that will just pop off. So it's actually quite easy to uh, take in and out. It's actually kind of easier than the treadle because you, you always have to separate this because it's sealed inside the machine you can't just pop it off over the top but this is actually quite easy so those are the only modifications I did to this machine nice and simple works the treat